Hello, and welcome to this chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help you get familiar with using Corel's Video Studio Pro X2. In today's short lesson, I'm going to show you how to create video overlays. Oftentimes, the mere mention of this term instills fear in most people, but I guarantee you, it's much easier than you think, especially if you're using Video Studio Pro X2. Overlaying video is just like it sounds. It's the process of placing and playing one or more video clips on top of the main video. This can be done in at least two ways. One is that the video being overlaid blocks a rectangular portion of the screen, kind of like picture in a picture. Another way is to fill a portion or the whole screen with the overlay, but have certain parts of it be see-through, so it looks like the overlay is part of the underlay. An example of this is what the weatherman or Hollywood uses when they want to project a person or thing onto another background. This is commonly known as green screen or blue screen. You can create the same effect by filming against a taut, solid, colored sheet or a wall, but be sure your lighting eliminates any shadows or color variations. Both of these video overlay features are possible in Video Studio Pro X2. Let me show you how this works. Once again, I've quickly produced the basics of my movie using the Movie Wizard and imported that into the Video Studio Editor where I am now. You'll notice that there already is a second video track available to me in my timeline here. This one was used by the Automated Movie Wizard to create a special introduction for my movie, and over here is where I use the Painting Creator to animate a route map of our summer vacation. Both of these features are explained in other video tutorials on the site. Video Studio has the ability to add up to six video overlay tracks on top of the main video track through the Track Manager. Simply click the tracks you want to add and they'll show up in your timeline. I'm going to add one additional overlay track and click OK. Let me first show you how to do the Picture in a Picture option. I've already imported the clips I'll be using in this tutorial and will add the ones I need to the video overlay track like so. As always, the options I need are available to me from just selecting the kind of clip I'm working on. I'll set this clip to fade in and fade out and go to mask and chroma key. Instead of wanting to apply an overlay option, I also have a choice of setting a transparency level and a border. I'm going to create a simple border and I'm going to resize it and move it down to the corner like so. Now I'll add the other clip right after this one. I also want the attributes of this clip to mimic those of the first one. That's simple. Select the first one, right click, copy attributes. Select the second one, right click, paste attributes. And I'll just move it over here to the right corner. Let's play this back to see how that works. Perfect. Let's try the chroma key feature now. Okay, so this may look a little on the cheesy side, but hopefully you'll get the main idea. I'm going to bring this dove clip that has a, is on a blue background down to the overlay track on top of my animated map, and then set the length to fit. Now this is going to be easy and fast, so don't blink. First, I'm going to set it to fly in from the lower left and remain in position on the upper right. Now, this time, I'll click on Mask and Chroma Key, Apply Overlay Options, and as you've seen, oftentimes, Video Studio, like in this case here, figured out the background color that is asking to be transparent and actually applied it on its own. If this doesn't happen, simply click on the color chip, choose your own color, or click on the eyedropper, and then click in the clip to, on the color you want to be transparent. And also, if none of this is showing up, make sure you have Chroma Key selected instead of Mask Frame. Now, mask frames are pretty cool, too. They allow you to add transparent frames around your clips. But I'm just going to return to where I was. And let's play this back. And there you have it. Well, thanks again, and we'll see you all in a future lesson.